Hello. Hello. Hello, sir. Hi. Hello, sir. Hi. Uh, your name is. Uh, what's your good name? Kalai Eleven. Sir. My name is Kalai Eleven. Kalai, right? Kalai. Is it Kalai, right? Yes, sir. Kalai. So name Kalai. Okay, Kalai. Right. Okay, I use Kalai. Right. Uh, okay, Kalai. Where are you? Uh, I am from Jaffna, sir. Ah, good, good. You are from Jaffna. So at the moment, what are you doing? Uh, I'm currently currently following uh, electronics and telecommunication engineering. I'm in third year. Now I am in third year. Sir. All right. Good, good, good. So, uh, so you are doing a uh, four-year degree, right? Yes, sir. Good, good. So, uh, so, how 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 is the course at the moment? I mean, is it okay? I mean, about your degree? Uh, yes, sir. It's okay. Ah, okay. So you are doing practicals, I mean, the electronic and telecommunication, for example, are you doing some hardware stuff like motherboard, repair channel, all, the, all those things, or only the theory stuff they are doing? Or... Both, uh, both theories and practical, sir. But I am doing a project uh, like Arduino, Raspberry Pi, FPGA projects. All right, good, good. Uh, microcontroller. Right. Yeah, microcontrollers about, right, things. Like, like you know, PLCs and all, right? PLC, but I uh, I haven't any idea about PLC, but I like to follow PLC programming. Ah, okay. but, uh, is it is it is it under your syllabus? PLCs? PLC is not uh, it's not our syllabus. Ah, all right. Um, but uh, but it's most widely used in industries, right? Yes, sir. In the industry field, uh, PLC is most important. Yeah, yeah. Right, Kalai. So Kalai, okay. Uh, so uh, uh, wow. What is uh, what is the interest in of doing the CCNA about to you? Uh, CCNA, uh, uh, my dream is uh, yeah uh, to get a signal processing site and telecommunication site uh, mm -hmm. uh, in future. That's why uh, I would like to follow CCNA and after uh, CCNA, uh, CCNB. Uh, that yeah yeah good idea I... yeah i hear ccna uh, you know uh, i will tell some uh, brief about ccna uh, let me let me share my desktop right here uh, i think can you see my board Yes, I can. Uh, I can. All right. Okay, Kalai, you know, the CCNA is uh, like a, a Cisco certified network associate. Earlier, we have, you know, CCNA in different platform. For example, uh, we, we had, uh, I mean, uh, before uh, 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 2021, the syllabus, recently the syllabus has changed. So all syllabus was it's CCNA, uh, we have a CCNA uh, routing and switching, okay. right? Yeah, routing and switching, we have a CCNA voice, right? And we have a CCNA wireless, right? CCNA wireless, and we have CCNA uh, wireless, we have a security, and again, we have CCNA, we had CCNA data center, right? Uh, so there are some, uh, you know, categorize the network it would be categorized. For example, uh, routing and switching means basically they are, uh, they, are uh, they were, you know, introducing about uh, how to configure in switches and routers, Cisco switches and routers, basically. Uh, these switches and routers mainly used for enterprise, enterprises, right? And they were, had inter they were, uh, one uh, these are these are certificate we we call them as a certification track earlier the, we have a certification tracks so this is earlier one this old one all tracks 
right? So voice is there. Voice means uh, the collaborations, you know, we call them as a collaboration. Collaboration devices mean where we can, you know, uh, 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 you know, configure things, right? Voice, voice of IP, basically collaboration devices, especially VOIP, right? Voice of IP, for example, IP phone, right? Internet protocol, IP phone. Then we have a teleconference, some, you know, uh, tele, uh, telepresence devices, for example, we have a Tangberg devices, right? Some uh, VC units, video conferencing units. So what kind of a technology and protocols we use SIPs, right? So kind of a protocol, you know, to introduce this, uh, this voice of IP, something like that. So then we have a wireless. Uh, this is regarding the Wi-Fi technologies, right? Uh, we have a 2.4 gigahertz and 5.0 gigahertz, right? So Wi-Fi range we have, you know, for example, wireless LAN controllers, the configurations, uh, WLC wireless LAN controllers. Then we had, you know, uh, access point, right? How to configure access point stuff like that. So then we have a CCNA, we had CCNA security. This is regarding like, you know, uh, firewalls, right? IPS, intrusion prevention system, intrusion detection system, IDS, right? Uh, security, for example, syslog servers, right? We have a TACAS servers, right? There are a lot of, uh, 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 you know, implementations under the security. Yeah. Then next one, uh, the data center. So this is data center. Basically, you know, uh, it's, uh, uh, you know, a data center, for example, like some high-end switches, high-end devices, right? High-end devices like, you know, uh, 12,000 series, right? Uh, 7,200 series, something like that. So, you know, some high-end devices, the what kind of a data center technology, right? What kind of a devices we use. And uh, then we have a, a other one, CCNA service provide. Right, service provide. This is regarding basically if you are, you, if you are working in a, a service provider like Dialog or the SLT, so what kind of a technology? So they use some, uh, even they also use some high-end devices, you know, they have distribution centers, they have some, you know, depot centers. So what kind of a technologies, methods, techniques, you know, you are using. So uh, this is, this was the era of the, uh, you know, Cisco categorizations. So same way we have a CCNP track, for example, we had CCNP routing and switching, CCNP voice, CCNP wireless, CCNP security, CCNP data center, something like that. Then we have a now nowadays we have a CC earlier we have a CCNA cyberops, cyberops, right? This is basically for the developers, right? Some kind of a, you know uh, uh, programming knowledge also. For example, nowadays most of the uh, you know networking we use Python language, right? And JSON, right? There are some platform, right? So we, 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 were, we were talking about the network programmability, right? Network programmability. So nowadays the network is, you know, defined as it's a code, just a code, right? More or less it's a code. So network is nowadays referring, latest term is preferring, it's a code. Because, you know, now, uh, you know, we have, we say, for example, we have, 100, 100 of sutures or, you know, even 200 of sutures, even more than that, if you want to configure at once within one script, we can do it. So that much of level that this networking has, uh, you know, evolved. So this was the earlier uh, Cisco introduced. Uh, this was the track. Then uh, same way we have a CCIE, the, you know, that is Cisco certified, uh, you know, uh, network expert, right? So expert in levels, 
we have a CCIE routing and switching, CCIE voice, CCIE wireless, CCIE security, something like that. Right. So this is this was this was the era of the Cisco. Right. Okay. But you know, after 2021, this has been changed. Right. Wait me a second. Right. All right. Right. After uh, right after 2000. Uh, 21 right this syllabus has been changed right this has been changed so uh now what they 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 came across like a one ccna exam for all the track right this is called cisco certified network associate right Cisco Certified Network Associate, right? Cisco Network, Cisco Certified. So what they have done recently, they have put all the, you know, some, you know, uh, syllabus topics, right? For example, some syllabus from, right? Routing and switching, okay? routing and switching some syllabus from you know some areas from uh, wireless right some areas about uh, uh, security right uh, wireless security uh, okay. routing and switching yes some areas about the network programmability right network programmability uh, programming right or programmability whatever right we call so uh, this is like a mix of right mixed mix of uh, content but this is uh, you know uh, this is one particular exam only ccna so it's we they are not you know categorized as uh, what they are not categorized as uh, uh, for example specific area but the specific area comes after CCNA qualification. When you move to the CCNP level, right? Then there will be a category. Then you can select CCNP security, CCNP voice, voice. Now we don't use voice word. We use collaboration. Collaboration, we have a CCNP wireless. So from the second level only, they are categorizing the uh, you know separate specialized areas, but not the first one. Got it? So this is about CCNA new syllabus. Terunada kala you are monkey nega. Yes, sir. I can understand. Right, question and right. Okay, yes. Uh, kala one thing. So uh, so. ने <laughs> मैनेज सो ई थिंक बिकॉज इन यू आर यू आर यू आर इन श्रीलंकन कंट्री राइट डेफिनेटली यू शुड नो एटलीस्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड राइट कथा कर बेरुना तेरे नो नहीं दिग्री ओके एनी वे सो दिस 
right this is the mix of the content so now uh, we are going to uh, uh, write uh, so this is what we are going to teach right so this is a new syllabus got it mm -hmm. all right so i think i have uh, i have uh, sent this right i have sent this to you right yes. i think you got it no we got it sir. yeah so we just go through that the new ccna program has been designed to prepare the today's associate level job roles in the it technology so actually the ccna if you if you become a, a ccna qualified right qualified with the skill there are there are some other way you can get qualified without the skill asset right so i am talking about with the skill right with the skill means you do all the labs you have gone through all the syllabus area you have you have done all the practicals everything right and you you got hands on experience right then only you can work somewhere otherwise you can't work right i bet you you can't work right so uh, the right this is this is not a like a, you know the ccna is a even this is this is a big exam very big exam right this is a professional certification and a professional course and uh, uh, this syllabus is very vast normally the cisco press you, you can see that the, we have most of the cisco press book right the one they have uh, two books for the ccna volume one and volume two you know one book is like you know more than thousand pages second book is also more than thousand pages so very very big syllabus right in new syllabus right the most of the classes what they do is they were very summarized and you know right with very few tutes they are following and you know doing doing main areas only but they don't they, because it uh, within 3 4 months you know we can't cover this much of syllabus right the big big topics are there so that's what I put uh, in my, uh, even in advertisement, I put six month minimum, right? You know, nowadays, my earlier, we have started one class from uh, last September, right? I have done, you know, I have done at the moment, uh, 43 classes, 43 online classes, right? All the classes, you know, uh, minimum two hours. Sometimes it goes up to three hours sometimes when we do practicals right uh, so it's still it's still we are not we, we are we are not came into the routing at, at least we still you know doing switching concept but we finished 43 classes so you can understand right how much level we are doing this right so we don't want to hurry and you know finish this course or no we want you know give the knowledge and the skill set and how you can work in the industry as a network engineer or network associate right so that's our main objective right even you, you can you know easily you know apply in a foreign countries as say gulf countries you can easily go right so uh, ccna now includes security and automations and programs so this is now include means that there's a new new syllabus earlier it was not there but they have added these things because the security automations now everybody talking about automations everybody talking about programmability right so they are talking about things because they they you know cisco understand the you know uh, current trend and they have put these things into the new syllabus right the program has one certification that covers a broad range of fundamental of it careers and with one training course help. See, so broad range. It's not a short range, broad range, right? It's a big, big topics are there. Newly re, uh, retooled for the latest technologies and job roles, the CCNA training course is exam give you the fund foundation to you need to take career in any direction. That's what. That may cause a karama, make it or on the idea. Right? You will get good idea. Right? 
and uh, even after you do, the CCNA, then you can have a selections path. If you want, you can go for security, you can go to the data centers, service providers, right? Then you can go for the collaboration area, right? Wireless. So whichever you like, the uh, specialized, you can go and do this specialized. Then the certification comes like CCNP security expert or CCNP security professional. Then you can go title get CCNP wireless professional. You got it? Right? That's how, uh, you know, uh, those things uh, come. Right? One second. Right. All right. So that's that's the uh, insight of this CCNA. Okay, this is the uh, high level syllabus, right? So we talk about the network fundamental, we talk about the network access, we talk about the IP connectivity, we talk about the IP services. We talk about the security fundamentals. We talk about the automation and program. So this is the syllabus area. Got it? Kala, you can hear me, right? Yes, sir, I am here. Okay, right, great. So uh, prerequisite means, you know, before we uh, go into this, do this course. So, what kind of a you know prior knowledge you have, you should have. But for the CCNA, even in in my old cl old classes, you know, we ha I have like you know, even after all level also, there are some students, right? Mm -hmm. They are doing CCNA with me, right? So, uh, the only thing is, if I am saying something, if you can understand, that's it, right? Normally, after all levels, everybody can understand, you know, things normally. You know, after all level means, you know, after all level is, after level definitely they can do, but after all level also possible. Right. So, uh, they are, this is actually this uh, updated syllabus I got from the Cisco, right. So, what they say is the, whatever the candidate, at least they are, they are, they are thinking that they at least one or you know few years experience in implementing an administrative Cisco solution. Actually, uh, this is not possible most of the time because you know if I, if, for example, we say if you are a after all level student, so there is no way to you know get the experience, right? Uh, anyway, so doing the course and you know do the labs practicals. Now we have we don't actually now earlier we need some uh, real devices right to do the practicals most of the time but nowadays we have a lot of uh, virtual environment for example we use gns3 gns3 is a very good uh, this is not a uh, yeah, this is like a uh, you know uh, emulate emulator we call them as emulator where we can you know 
put our real ios real ios take in our real ios and you know feed into the gns3 platform and we can run so after running actually we can see real os real ios in our machine right so most of the time most of the time in most of the classes you know in ccna classes in sri lanka or even the foreign countries most of the times they use uh, packet tracer we also use packet tracer this is also a good platform so introduced by the uh, cisco itself but uh, we don't use only the packet traces we are go for this gns3 because this gns3 is a uh you know good platform where we can you know capture the packets we can do the analyzing of you know after capturing the packets then uh, you know most of the time i must say that you know when we are learning networking right when you are learning networking most of the time even the 90% of the networking we have protocols protocols we are learning about the protocols nothing but for example http hypertext transfer protocol right dns right domain name server domain name system right or, or https right so whatever the smtp simple management right uh, smtp right we have uh, uh, what we have a telnet right this is remote remote uh, sessions for use for remote session right we have ssh that is also secure right uh, so what are, what are the protocols that you know right we have many many protocols right so we have a pop3 right right simple network management protocol snmp right simple mail transfer protocol right so there are many protocols right so we, we there are hundred of protocols we are learning we have a cdp cisco discovery protocols we have stp right but uh, span entry protocol we have a variety of stp protocol multiple span entry right we have a rapid span entry right we have a per vlan span entry right per vlan span entry plus there are most of the protocols we are learning because of the networking subject so uh, you have to understand when you are learning networking means every time you are learning protocols 90% 90 90% things under protocol what is it what is the main function of that particular protocol how you are going to use it how you are going to configure it how we are going to implement it right so those things only we are doing most of the time in the networking right as a broader way broader way or the high level right right so what they are expecting about ip addressing right internet protocol addressing right and good understanding of network fundamental yes very simple stuff right right so this is the latest syllabus cisco certified network association version 3 2.0 this is the new syllabus so this is the you know detailed description about the syllabus content network fundamental 20% right then we have uh, ip connectivity 25% ip services 10% security 15% network programmability 10% so this is how they are going to separate the syllabus very specific areas right got it right right 
right so so this is about the syllabus right all right actually i have shared uh, uh, two books this is one book right the past exam past the ccna and implement the administration and there's another book called implementation and administrating the cisco solutions okay so kalai so we are referring two books right during our course okay this is these all books are newly created books for the new syllabus these, these are not old one right this is 2020 latest book for the new syllabus first published 2020 november that means it's a 2021 actually at least actually right last year book regarding uh, about new syllabus got it yes, right so uh, right and from you from next uh, next class onwards you should have these things i will tell you first one you should install the packet tracer in your computer right yes. packet tracer right i will share this because i have a setup right i will share you uh, from one drive then you can download it and install it yes this is one and another one we, we use gns3 so very first time also no don't worry right uh, you can download gns3 and we uh, uh, we use gns3 in a virtual environment virtual environment right that means we use gns3 you know gns3 sir uh, you know uh, it's like this i will just brief about the gns3 you know hypervisors hypervisors what do you mean by the hypervisors means it's like a container right container where we can install hypervisors into our computer and we can you know keep keep it as a separate container and we can put whatever the whatever the os what we need something like that so hypervisor example so one of the hyper you know basic in windows hypervisor is a hyper v right another one is we can have uh, uh vmware right and another hypervisor is oracle right uh, this uh, virtual right oracle hypervisor so uh, normally uh, we use uh, this these are this hypervisor is uh, hyper v is a we can so this is free version free one come out comes with windows and uh vimware workstations these are licensed right but you know uh, there are some way to you know get the license as well and anyway uh so i will i will show you some of the things right uh Okay, I will uh, straight away go with the GNS3 just to, uh, you know, uh, then you can understand something. This is the GNS3 platform, right? Have you used the packet tracer earlier, uh, Kalai? No, sir. I am currently doing uh, network modules in our semester, uh, but I we have. I know the um, packet tracer uh, platform. Ah, platform. I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. you have experience by using that one, uh, right? I haven't experienced it, but I know. Ah, okay. Name, uh, but what's the purpose for using that? Okay. And that's fine. Right. So this is about GNS3, right? Uh, I just opened the one of the example, right, to uh, to show you. So what is it about some, then you can get real understanding what I am talking about. See, I am using here, see GNS3 VMware, right? So GNS3, you can install in a two ways. One is a GNS3, you can locally install and use it. 
and you can use a gns gns the vmware sorry virtual machine that means we have a virtual platform right the gns the virtual setup we can install it so what is the difference between why we are using this vmware virtual machine because then it takes less amount of computer resources right computer resources because these i said that these uh, you know these things right uh, right these things these are real ios see we I, we have a router call right we have a router call uh right uh 3600 right this is 3660 uh, 3700 3725 3745 7200 we have a l2 viral ios cisco right so these are platform actually these platform run in actual cisco ios these are not fake one you know in a packet tracer packet tracer is the actually it's a program no it's a program developed by the cisco engineers right it's not a real but it's the ios is in the packet tracer running in io io packet tracer you know um, the switches which is running in the packet tracer right they have they don't have real ios they have dummy ios but here this is called that's why the difference between the packet tracer and the gns the something like that uh, right this is called emulator 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 is the thing where you can put real ios real ios means right the ios which is currently running on real devices in the inside the real devices cisco cisco real devices they have a real ios so what we can do is we can put it that ios and put it to the this gns3 and we can run got it yes so that means we are working then that uh, we are actually working with the real ios real devices but even it is it is not a physically touchable right even it's not physically existent but we are using real ios that's the importance of the this gns3 emulators right but in the packet tracer in the packet tracer we have uh, it's not a real ios it's a dummy ios right that's the difference between the packet tracer and the gns3 emulator packet tracer is a simulator we call them as a packet tracer simulator gns3 is a emulator emulator that's the difference okay so what i what i want to tell you is right this uh, you know how i have a, you know earlier in the earlier batches i have a, a video right you know recorded one in the recorded video i will share to you and to the group if anyone interesting right uh, you know definitely you have to ins you have to look at that look at that video first it that video right saying step by step how to install how to how to set up this platform got it okay and whatever the resources for example whatever resources means these ioss and the applications what you are what you are want to install i will provide it right all the things i will provide i send the link i send the link which has all the resources in order to set up this platform and i send the link the about recording about the video how you are going to do it so what we are going to do is you can just download this resources to your computer and you can look at this video right and you can start doing it 
in your computer. You can try out. Got it? I think you you understand what I'm saying. Yes, sir. I understood. Good. So and uh... okay. So that's the platform, right? Uh, we are going to do. So this is very a smart platform. For example, for example, we say when you double click, right? You can start like this. Start, and we can console something like that. Then it will open the console command. Something like that. It will open from the putty applications, right? So likewise, right? Right, see, right? See, this is a show version, right? What they are saying, Cisco IOS software, 37,000 software, 3725. Advanced Enterprise K9, this is the IOS type, right? So version is 12.4, right? So details about the Cisco, this device. So we have, a, 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 what is the RAM capacity? We have one to, uh, to, uh, one to five uh, RAM, right? And we have uh, this CPU mega to uh, two, 240 megahertz speed, right? 512 KB L3 cache, right? We have two fast Ethernet interfaces, four serial interfaces, Right, so something like that. Got it? Okay, so this is example for the GNS3. So that's how we are going to do our practicals. So basically we use this, this platform to most of the protocols I can easily, you know, teach from this platform because I can capture packets, right? Using Wireshark. I think you heard about the Wireshark. Wireshark is the packet analyzing capture, packet capturing analyzer, right? Wireshark, right? So we can use Wireshark. For example, if we want to understand the Wireshark, right? Because first of all, you should understand what we are going to do in this, our classes, basically, right? This is what we are going to do. Packet capture means we can right click here, start capture. So then Wireshark will open. Start ca capturing, this is Wireshark, Wireshark network analyze. Right. Normally, this level, normally uh, most of the CCNA classes in Sri Lanka, even in the foreign countries also, they don't use the GNS3, but GNS3 only use uh, when it's come to the CCNP level. But uh, here, it li a little bit different. We use uh, from the beginning, we are starting from GNS3. Because you know we understand the uh, you know importance of the GNSC to the student because they can really grab the things very easy, right? Right. So uh, likewise, you can capture data, something like that, right? So data capture. So by after capturing data, we can easily, you know. Uh, understand how the, how it behave, something like that. Got it? Yes. Right.
about the packet tracer so this is about the packet tracer right so better you have to have packet tracer as well right because most of the classes we are doing in packet tracers uh, labs as well so in order to uh, use the packet tracer you have to use, you have to create the netacad account remember right this is you should know right i don't have a video on this but you can create a netacad account you can go to google you can type create netacad account then there will be a link coming so you have to put your username and the password right then the email verification come to your email then after click that there are some more form some form is appearing you have to fill some uh, some details then only you can download this uh, packet trace anyway i i can send i can set up the uh, i can send the uh, you know packet trace setup because i already have it but even you install the packet tracer you have to have a netacad account then only you can log into the packet tracer online right otherwise you can go for the guest account but it's it's every time they are asking you know username password and you know it it takes it it uh, it very limited time so better you use for netacad account create netacad account and after using creating after you creating the netacad Neta account see now it's like this no after installing also you can go here and you can sign up something like that and you can create this way as well and it's coming some detail then you can verify it that is also possible right so for example i will log in my one because i have a, at the moment i have a account right this is my packet tracer setup right so we have here routers we have here pc laptop server whatever the device we want to add into our netpack topology right we have some other devices we have a cable types right we have other routers right we have other switches 2960 this is a famous l2 switch we have some devices some wireless lan controllers lot of devices are there right right so uh, this is one of the lab right recently we have uh, you know done in our one of the class so this is about this is like a you know this is the platform we have switches we have routers right we have we created the topology if you want to log in for example double click on go to cli see now we are in a switch you can check right show ip interface brief something like that right so this is the platform we are using right right or oh, so if you want to know about the 
device itself you can say show version which gives the information about the device high level information right so this is about the detail right this is uh, ws3560 24 ps mean 24 ports 12.12 .12 version this is the software image or the ios internet track operating system right so this is about the platform right it has 24 fast ethernet ports 8.213 this is an ethernet port this is 2 gigabit ethernet technology is i triple e institute of electronic and electrical engineers right so this is the professional body right we have itef i triple e we have ina right lot of uh, corporations are there right organizations are there in the world who are you know responsible of these networking protocols you know rfc commands and all right we were discussing all the things we will discuss in all the things right this is the i just want to you know elaborate the platform we are using you know throughout this course right this is like a journey don't think about this is like other you know normal class you know you come and join and you know again next class you open the book and not like so this is like this is you know this course is very uh, you know, if you are not doing works, I, I, I must say that if you are not uh, doing the things what I am doing here, and if you are not, you know, you know, following up thoroughly, so you miss, if you miss something, it's, it's uh, even I put some, I definitely I am sending the recording, you can recap it every, every class. You will be, uh, I will send the recording, but only for the limited time. So during that time, you have to look at and finish it. So then you have that chance as well. I'm sending the recording as well, but most of the classes, they are not sending the recording, but I am sending the recording, right? So you can look at and, and you can understand because I know that something, sometimes most of the things at very first time you can't grab, right? We would, during my experience, you know, uh, I am doing class, but, you know, students are, uh, you know, most of the students, they don't have experience. They are new to this area, career. They are new. They are very new to this uh, networking industry. So they need some more help from the teachers. That's what we are sending the recording and you can look at second time. Then if you have any question, you can raise it, right? So what I most importantly, I want to highlight is to, you know, do the practicals, what I am doing here, right? It, this is like a journey, right? This is not a like, uh, that's what I'm saying. So if you are, it's like, <laughs> you know, you jump into the pool, right? Mm -hmm. But you can't swim. So mm -hmm. there are some, pre, there are a lot of uh, effort you should, you know, in order to swim, you have to do a lot of things. You do exercises, you know how to kick and, you know, how to put, how to, you know, you know, pull your hands and everything very first time. Same way, right? There is no magic. We don't do any magic here, right? Not no magic here. So that, that effort is effort. So because I'm, I'm not a magic person, you know, to teach uh, things, uh, you know, in within a short period of time, even student can't understand, right? So it takes time, right? So, so this is the platform we are using. I just want to show you, right? I think, uh, yeah, most of the things I have tell, I told you, right? So these books I have given, these syllabus, you have it. I will share GNS3 and the packet tracer stuff, right? Okay. Now we will start ours. We will, today itself, we will go through the things, right? Right. We'll start from the beginning. It's like, you know, so you just, you forget everything, right? What you know. Right, because you are here to right learn. You are here to learn. I am here to teach. Right, I am thinking that you are you don't do you don't know anything about network. 
So from that perspective, I am starting the classes. Okay. Then it's, it's better. Yes, sir. Right. Here, first thing is what is a network? We just talk about the basic things. Network. Network is right. Network is. We say that it's a it's a, the network has key features. Right, key features. First one, the in order to have a you know form a network, we should have two or more computers. Two or more computers. That's the basic requirement. At least two computers, it's enough to have a network, two or more computers. And main function of the network is, or main purpose of the network is to, to share resources. Resources means, you know, networking resources. Very good question. Then you should know, what do you mean by the networking resources? Networking resources means sometimes it should be a service, right? It could be a links, for example, internet link. It could be, that is also a resource, right? The data, information, right? The devices such as network printers, network scanners, IP phones, right? Teleconference devices, telepresence devices, which is used for, uh, which is used to uh, do some video conferencing facility in a enterprise level, in a corporate level, right? So these are resources, share resources, networking resources, right? We have a file servers, we have our email servers. We have a web servers. Right? We have a security servers like, you know, six log servers. Right? We have a TACAS servers. Right? This all are, we have FTP file transfer, FTP servers. Right? A lot of uh, services are there. So in order to in order to get the network resources and the network services, we can call as well in a you know in a deeper level, we can go as a network services as well. Because without the network, you can't have network services. Can no no? No, sir. No. Yeah, mm. you should have it. First of all, you should have a network. Then only you can, you know, get the benefit of the network services. For example, DSCP is a service, Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. Uh, this is about the Microsoft perspective, not the Cisco product, but even, you know, even in the Cisco routers, we can, you know, implement the DSCP services. That is totally fine. You know, most of the corporations as a backup DSCP server, they put it to the router. The main server is the Microsoft DSCP, Microsoft server. But if, if it fail, the failover goes to uh, router. The router implement, we can implement the DSCP services, right? So there are many network services, right? There are many, many network services, right? So we can implement. But in order to get the benefit, get to use it, right? You know, get these advantages, we have to have a network. In order to have a network, we should have two or more computers that are interlinked together, right? To exchange data and information and the, whatever the network resources. That is the basic idea or the broader idea or the you know detailed idea about the network, right? So that is about the network. Any question about this? No, sir. Right. 
then we 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 will uh, basically uh, you know talking about we will talk about uh, topologies right basic topology these are very basic topologies i know you already i know yeah aware of these things because you are you are in a third year level student basic topologies or network topologies what are the basic topology for example we talk about the lan okay very first time we talk about the pan pan yes yeah, pan is personal area network personal area network this is called pan right actually uh, yeah, most of the uh, domestic houses they have a pan personal actually in my house also so we say i have a laptop i have a desktop i have some smartphone right they are connected to my wifi router right so phones are wifi sometime we have a cable connection or the, even the laptop also wifi the desktop of course we have a cable connection so this is about my home network we say that right uh, soho small office home office small office home office so this setup is not only for the uh, domestic house even a small shop small shop for example cafe earlier we had uh, you know network cafe as you know nowadays we don't have any cafe yes, so <laughs> they are obsolete because now everybody the network is you know it's uh, very easy to even every mobile phone right we have a mobile data we can have internet the internet is not a problem nowadays because you know when we were when we were in the kids so internet is a biggest challenge right nowadays it's everywhere right so most of the small shops or the small uh, uh, small shop which is you know uh, the running in the houses right the businesses right they can use this kind of a pan technology the personal area network this is a small topology this topology basically they use few of few computers right few computers most of the computers pcs even the tablets right even the notebook right per uh, this pds personal digital assistants right uh, we have like you know for example blackberry but nowadays no one earlier is blackberry is the famous right it was a famous right even i also had a blackberry right uh, i think yes, seven eight years back uh, it's very interesting it was interesting device but you know after smart com smartphone coming like you know apple and all then this will you know uh, it goes you know far away <laughs> right that comes first right okay so uh, personal area network this is about the uh, uh, but even the even this personal area network they can have a small printer right nectar printer they can connect wifi right the even even a small small uh, peripherals networking peripherals right networking peripherals can be attached to this soho network small office home office even the pan nectar right to you know get the benefit you know for example you want to take a print out right yes of course you can scan. do it right you can do yeah do the scanning as you nowadays you know scanning we have most of the nowadays no one is using scanner as a device you know home based because they have apps they have a very you know is is uh, small small uh, apps from the app store and the you know play store you can just download it and you can do the scanning and you can make it make it pdf and upload it whatever you like so uh, that's it that's see now hardware become the software see hardware so that's the technology that's the imagine imagine things so this will happen mm -hmm. every day right that for example uh, hardware devices will be obsolete and the, the same purpose we are doing from the software that's that's what this scanning software happen now no one is use a scanner but there are some sophisticated scanner for the check scan right micr 
right ocr right there are some uh, sophisticated scan basically used in the banking industry right even not even in a college uh, in a college campus like you know big universities and even in the some businesses purpose they uh, you know they use some uh, what some uh, you know uh, po scan purchase order scan right we say do scanning there are some uh, special special scanning software scanning devices right i'm not talking about those things but the basic scanning devices it will you know replaced by the apps just the app that's what what i am saying is earlier that nowadays network is refers to is a call just a call network is a just a call that's that's how the latest definition of the network just a code right so you can understand yes, what is this you know uh, you know transfer how 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 far it transfer right okay pan then we talk about the land local area network right the local area network we know basically this is uh, the main main feature is to right limited to single building right single building or few buildings maximum few buildings for example we say your college we say your college has you know several floors in a one department we say it faculty in that faculty we have a ground floor we have a first floor we have a second floor third floor and fourth floor we say in a fourth floor we have a computer labs which has uh, 50 computers of course third floor also we have a lab we have 100 computers something like that third floor also we have a few labs something like that this uh, because of its a it faculty there are three labs in the third uh, you know three different floors so this is called the land local area network because it's a single premises this it, it is limited to single building right it's the basically these uh, devices are connected to the switches switch right switch the switch sometime if you want to internet the switch is connected to the router the router we have a cloud network it's a isp right so this is called net lan local area network so most of the companies even the smb smb means small and medium businesses if i sometime I, i use some keywords smb when i when i you know explaining things uh, if i say smb you should know that is called small and medium small and medium business right small and medium business means it's like you know minimum you know uh, two to you know one to maximum 200 employees right we refer as smb but if you go for enterprise that is called enterprise or sometime i am i call as a corporate if you heard about word called corporate you should understand it's called about the enterprise enterprises are big companies not small companies right big companies for example in sri lanka we have a hemas right mas brandex right we have a, we say unilever right we have loic right so this banking industry these all are under corporate sector right corporate companies the big companies where it go it goes beyond like you know uh, more than 500 or more than 250 employees you know beyond that right or sometimes starting from 400 so that that is about the corporate world or the enterprise world the corporate world the smb is not belongs smb is something small small and medium businesses right the most of the, but what i am saying is the even the smb and the enterprise level they use this land got it local area network they use this land right these all are connected using the normally they use fiber optic sometime 
or in a UTP, unsealed, uh, the, you know, cable, unsealed to start pair. Or even the Wi-Fi also possible. Wi-Fi technology is possible. Right? One second. Right. So, okay. So, we will uh, go in detail about the local area network. What are the cable types we can use? We can use UTP, unsealed twisted pair. We can use fiber optic. And even the RF, RF means radio frequency. RF can be radio frequency, right? Radio frequency. Yes, radio frequency. That is belongs to the Wi-Fi wi or the wireless technology. Wireless technology, we have infrared. We have Bluetooth and we have Wi-Fi. Basically, we use Wi-Fi for the enterprise on the SMB. Right. And cable type and what are the benefit of the land? So can you tell me the benefit of the land? Benefit, uh, what are the benefit of the local area network? Uh, it, it takes a low cost. Uh, low cost. Okay. And, uh, yeah, you can say share per appearance, basically. Share per appearance or share resources. That is the main benefit of the land. Then you can say, right? Share per appearance and share resources. Centrally, manage you can manage centrally about what you can centrally manage anything the security wise you can put securities uh, security measures for example you can create you can put uh, for example username and password or the network password you can apply right when you are logging every user had to you you put the username and password to the computers right Computer identification. Yes, for the identifications, the security manage even the uh, file access, shared file access. We have we can have file servers, right? File servers, right? Then even the shared network, no shared network. Ah, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Shared internet or internet. And even you can say shared programs. Yes. We have a terminal server, right? Everybody can log in using different user accounts. But the main program is running in the different server machine, application server. Right? In application server, what we are going to do, we are installing the particular software, right? But that application server has a more capacity of the RAM, more capacity of the storage, and it has more processing power, right? And we have installed, the, we have run the application, we have installed and, you know, uh, make it run in that particular uh, application, in that application server. So everybody can use their dumb terminal. Dumb terminal means it's a computer. They use that particular computer only for accessing that device only, right? So that is, uh, that is for dumb terminal. Right, that is for dumb terminal. Right, right. So dumb terminal can be accessed. Right, 
dam terminal can be accessed to uh, uh, dam terminal is used to access the this main uh, main application the application the server is somewhere else but you are at home even from the internet you can connect it so that kind of a facility is there right that means in local area network you can uh, apply the vpn facility virtual private network facility where the mobile users can connect to the corporate network right so we will talk about this thing in detail right, when, when it comes to the ccna syllabus right and even the you know uh, centrally managed backup that is also possible no backup centrally managed. yeah centrally managed backup backup services what do you mean by backup we uh, normally most of the enterprises we use uh, backup to take the backup we use tape libraries you know tape libraries tape libraries tape libraries for example most of the you know famous tape libraries we have hp networker networker right most of the hp tape libraries are very good right so tape library means you know we have like uh, we have like a tape bay right in that one particular bay we can load tapes normally that tape would be 1 terabyte or 2 terabyte or we have some capacities so uh, most of the enterprise level they run this tape libraries they have a backup plan in the company right this the backup plan will be run on at you know overnight starting from you know 10 uh, pm to uh, you know till next day morning 4 am so they are taking all the backup for the one tape whatever the backup means they are they are pulling out they are they are pulling taking uh, data from the servers from the main file servers ftp servers whatever the servers the critical servers the mission critical servers they take the backups they they take the backup of the databases application servers to the tape libraries in case of some emergency happen for example natural disasters right the hardware failures software failures virus attack right we have uh, some uh, ransomware attack right uh, dos attack dod you know ddos attack whatever the things right if, if we don't know next next moment what will happen in a networking environment some hacking techniques are there someone can hack but everybody so better you have to keep the data backup somewhere so most of the enterprises they have a backup plan you know backup plan the mess the responsibility is to belongs to the it manager it if something happens the it manager is responsible to the management the leadership team in the corporate level so most of the example i am taking about the corporate level because i worked there more than 15 years so so that's what uh, i had that experience so normally i am sharing those experience with you then you can understand whenever i am talking about examples you have to imagine okay sir this sir is talking about the enterprise experiences right then it's uh, very easy to understand right right so most of the companies they have this kind of a backup plans right so normally we use uh, daily backup we use weekly backup we use monthly backup right uh, normally we have we take uh, two backup from one server right one backup is we keep it in our premises uh, another backup in we put it to the disaster recovery dr site or somewhere else more than 20 kilometers away from the uh, main uh, main backup right there are some conditions we have to adhere those conditions these are it policies you know in big companies they have it policies in that it policies right you know uh, they define what you have to do so it's very transparency so people can be coming and going it manager you know it manager you know uh, going tomorrow he is leaving doesn't matter new it manager comes they have a guideline they have to follow the guideline they all are implemented all are transparent so that's how the corporate company world co sorry corporate company work right they all are stay you know very very uh, you know 
uh, stabilize, right? Stabilize. That means the procedures, methods, implementations, you know, documents, everything is there. So they are not dependent on the people. They are only dependent on the data, right? So that's the difference between the big companies. How they are, how they are, you know, become a big, because they have, uh, you know, uh, very good, uh, you know, process. So because of these processes, right, the company will be smoothly running. You know, it's not depend on the, they are, they never depend on the people who work, right? IT manager can go, you know, even the directors can leave anytime, but everything is documented, right? The next director comes, they can just follow the procedure. That's it. All right. So that is about the land, right? Okay, then we have about, uh, give me one second. Right. So uh, next one, I think you heard about call uh, network called MAN. Yeah. Actually, these are type of network. These are actually not the topology. Topologies are, uh, I made a mistake. Topologies means we have a bus topology. We have a mesh topology. topology. We have ring topology. Star we have topology. a star topology, right? So these are the topologies, right? So the topology, so we will talk about topologies later. This is type of network, right? The other kind of network, right? Categories of network, man. Man means metropolitan area network. Right, metropolitan area network. So simply this is, you can say it's a bigger, it's a bigger version of it's a bigger version of land, right? It's a bigger version of land. Because land is defined a single building or few buildings, but this is go like cities. For example, like this. Right? We say we have building like this, right? Yeah, building. We say this is like side of the main road. We have building, building, or sometimes it should be a cities, right? Just to understand, right? We say this is some area. This is some area. This is some area. These are two different area. We say we have this, like we say we have this one. Uh, for example, we say Colombo five, like this is Colombo six, something like that. Here we have Colombo seven, Colombo eight, right? Three or Colombo four, something like that. Here, we say we have a head office and we have branches. 
branch one, branch two, and branch three. Right? We say banking or something. Here we have in a head office, we say HSBC, we have some, you know, computers, right? We have a LAN, LAN computers in here, right? And here it connecting, right? I will connect from here. This all are connecting the switch. Then this connecting to the router, okay? This router, again, this Columbo 5, right? Here, now is a Columbo 6 also, we have call, we say this is uh, some area, some building, we have a land connection. This also connect to the switch, something like that. The switch is connected to the router. Then this will connect something like that. So at the moment, now Colombo 6 and Colombo 6, Colombo 5 and Colombo 6, the same. This is a head office, this is brand. It is connected. Right? It's not a separate place, it's a different place. Right? But from the router, it will connect it. Because this will provide by the ISPs. Got it? Okay, sometimes this is like, you know, few kilometers away. Okay, few km away. This is also same way, right? That's what I said that. It's a bigger version of what? Land, right? These are routers, R mean router. If I draw a symbol like this, this is called router. Remember, if I draw a symbol like this, this is called switch. Right. Understand this one? Yes, again. Yeah, the, basically this kind of a things, most of the time, you know, uh, in a big, big universities, for example, big university, we have a campus network. Campus network, we have this kind of a metropolitan area network. It's a connecting cities, got it? Cities. Connecting cities. But in the same network, even this, this, this PC can be connected to here. Got it? Yes. But it, won't, it won't feel that they are, they are in different places. They feel that they are in the same network. Okay. That's, that's the different, right? This computer can be straight away connected to this computer. Fine, because you know, this is virtually connecting, okay? Using metropolitan area network. Right. Then next one call about, uh, van. And van. Yes. This is about wide area network. Best example for internet. It's the best or powerful or the biggest network in the world. It's the biggest network in the world. In this planet. The internet. You know, now actually it's not in the planet. You know? You know, in a, uh, Elon Musk and Project and all, you know, NASA, you know, what they do is, you know, even the China and the Russia. So they are the main leaders in the, you know, orbit, right? This uh, new, uh, you know, uh, researching of the, about planet and, you know, they are going to, you know, uh, you know, find the water and, the, you know, how, 
they are going to you know bring people to the moon or whatever the mars so there are big projects going on at the moment as well right so nowadays we can say that then this internet is not beyond the not 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 only the planet or not only belongs to the world because you see now we have a you know main uh, this telescope you know recently it has been launched from the nasa so i think i think one hour one hour oh no three times three times per day they are sending 30 gb data to the ground station how that happen so that is about the networking whatever the satellite technology they use it right so now it goes more than beyond you know 100000 or you know tens of 100000 far away the kilometers right from the world from the earth from this earth right even they are going to mars right and whatever the you know planet they are connecting now they are connecting to the earth so now we can't say that right the the low, wide area network or the internet is only still belongs to or the limited to the earth no it's it already go beyond that so i must say that right it's already go beyond that yes. right it's already go beyond that because of the this technology the satellite technology we know that we don't have any cable connections right the cable connections of course you know uh, only to the earth that is obvious but you know so fiber optic fiber optic is a only one solution right to have the bigger network you know to form a bigger network to connect one to another but we have most of the you know microwave technologies you know satellite technologies there are some you know technologies right by using those technologies we can connect planet to planet right so anyway this uh, normally in the wide area network the definition is to you know connect when you talk about within the earth connect connect to region for example asia we have you know main africa latin america right so middle east europe right so so this all are connect this are region main region so the regional wise connecting is called what by the area network okay right we know that if you want to send a email to your friend who is living in california in america so you have only less than 30 second or the within the 30 second you can drop an email to his mailbox so that how that possible because of the wide area net nothing but right you can send the text message right within few second it will appear to the person in usa or we you know which place you know whatever the place in the earth it's possible because of the this kind of a biggest network in the world okay so that is about the wide area network any question these things from the mm, yes sir, uh, sir uh, the speed of the network is but uh, when is the speed uh, 
network sir Uh, but nowadays is it possible uh, to uh, increase the network of man no the man is not going to you know uh, beyond the uh, country it belongs to the you know is limited to the one particular country basically in the metropolitan area net it's only connect in different cities but wide area network basically we use fiber optic no yes, it's a light no. because its light is very fast no fast yes yeah because of that it's a faster we use fiber that's why we use normally we have a, a single mode fiber multi mode fiber normal single mode fiber is the you know faster you know it goes like you know more than uh, kilometer you know, far away kilometers from one point to another normally multi mode fiber we use in a enterprise world you know connect like you know 1 kilometer right 2 km something like that we will talk these things right don't worry so this is just to introduction right okay all right now we will just uh, come to this uh, this network fundamental right explain the role and the function of the nectar component routers okay we will talk about what is this right i will just give the brief about the router this is just a brief right router is a it's a networking device nothing but it's a networking device right purpose is to connect different networks right different networks that is about router for example lan 1 which is somewhere lan 2 you can put a router that is possible right different network i right? connect different network it's like a gateway gateway to the another network right router router main purpose is to right send data through shortest path just think about the gps we say i am working in a uber right someone has you know uh, uh, i got the order uh, i want to pick that i am we say i am in uh, colombo we say i am in uh, i am in mount lavania so i am in mount lavania now i want to go to colombo uh, we say uh, somewhere in borel right so then what i am going to do i i go to i switch on my gps and i i got the location when i i find from the gps then the gps what they they are checking there are many ways for example from mount lavania you can come to you know uh, you can come to from kirolpana side then you can put it to the you know baseline and you can come to borel or from the mount lavania you can straight away come to bambalapitiya from bambalapitiya you can come to the borel so there are different ways right however we use the gps only shows the shortest path right am i right shortest path so they are checking with the kilometers right so that's a algorithm no algorithm that's a way no but we don't know we only got the result no 
then we can see okay in our gps system right we will see it right right okay so in our gps system right uh, we will only see the shortest path they will show you then we are we start our riding and through the shortest path the shortest path how it come it come there's an algorithm mm -hmm. behind that so by using algorithm they are finding the shortest path the same thing happen in the router that's what i got that example to understand easily what the router does router check the all the possible path that particular data should goes to somewhere and by using the routing tables right by analyzing the routing tables how they are going to analyze in the router router has a proto algorithm called spa shortest path is a spf first yeah so by using shorter pass pass algorithm right they they find shortest way to go to the where to the destination right destination so that is the main purpose of the router right to send the data and information right in the shortest path from the source to the destination so normally source is where the data is originated right the delivery place is the destination delivery place is the destination so they are using shortest path first right right so that is the main, the router that's it now you should know what is the what do you what do you mean mean by the router router can connect different networks right and router basically it find the shortest path where the data should originate and where it should go so it can so router make decision by looking at the routing table looking at routing table right by looking at routing table they make decisions router make decision they means router router make decisions remember router is a intelligent device right router is a intelligent device it's a intelligent device right right so router make decision by looking at routing table routing table includes all the routes all the routes which is connected to which are connected to other routers got it which are connected to other routers other network or oh, other network you can say other network or networks because see router for example router is like this no so route has different different interfaces interfaces means the connections this connect to here this connect to here got it this connect to here this connect to here this also connect is something like that got it so that's how the network form got it right like this okay the, the different between the distant between like here sometime 10 km 10k sometime 100 sometime 200 possible right different different cities here candy here colombo here jaffna here gold got it 
So this route, uh, we say, you want to send some data from here. We have a PC. This is source. You are going, you want to send this one to here, destination. See how many paths you have. Oops. You can have line this right here. It's a one path. Another path like this. Second path. Another path like this. Right? Three path. Oh no, no. Here oh, you can send it like this. Right? So something like that. So depending on the path, so which one is the first come, shortest? That decide by the router. That's why it, 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 we call them as a, it's an intelligent device. So router can decide the best path to go, best path to go, right? Router can, by you looking at the routing tables, right? That's what I said. In a routing table, it, it all listed all the routes which has connected to that particular router with other routes. Got it? Understand the concept. Right? Router will decide which path because they have many, many different paths because it, it has routing tables. So each route has a different, different cost on the way. Path cost take a like after, you know, path cost. We have a path cost. Right? It's like a distance. For example, how many kilometers? How many kilometers from here to here? We say here to here, we say 100. Sorry, we say here to here. Uh, oh, okay, uh, okay, here. We say here to here, we say 100. And this way we have 200. This way 50. Then 50 will be select. That means this path. You know, it's a shortest path. So by looking at the path course, it will decide. Okay. Right. That is about the route. Okay. I will talk about the switch asset. Layer to switch. So layer two means I will, uh, yeah, that is, I will come to uh, later. Uh, by next week, we are going to do the OSI layers and the open system interconnection, right? We have a seven layers and we have a TCP IP layers. By following these layers, right, you will get more understanding about the fundamental of the network, right? For the switch, I will, you know, elaborate few things in the switch. Switch also, remember, it's also intelligent device. Intelligent device. Switches has two type of switches. We have a manageable switches, unmanageable switches. Unmanage. Unmanaged switch, we have a manageable switches. We, we call them as a managed switch. What do you mean by the managed switch means we can have an IP address on that. We can assign the IP address on it. And we can, you know, we can uh, remotely accessing this com this switch, even from the VPN connection, anywhere in the world, we can, you can access in the managed switch and we can configure it, right? We have many, many protocols. We can configure all protocols. That is about the managed switch. These are expensive, okay, expensive. Example for the managed switch in the Cisco, we have a Cisco, we have Cisco uh, 2960, POE is a very, very popular switch at the moment. We have 3560, right? We have a 3750, right? We have 30, uh, 30, yes, 3750. We have 30, uh, 3560 also very famous switch at the moment, right? We have managed switch. This managed switch also two different types, L2 switch and L1. 
I will, I will teach that as well. L2 switch. L2 switch me. It's only work as work. Understand the MAC addresses, media access control, MAC addresses. That means the L2 switch dealer only frames. They don't know about the IP addresses. But L3 L3 switches know about knowing about two things: frames and the IP address. They can work as a L3 switches. L3 switches backward compatible. That means L3 switches support L2 features as well. Got it? L2 plus L3. That is about L3 switches. These are expensive than these switches, right? This L2 switches we only use for the access layer. I will come to later this access layer, distribution layer, and call layer. We have a three-tier architecture and the two-tier architecture, right? And here, unmanaged switch, unmanaged switch is you know it's unmanaged switch. They can understand the frames and all, but we can't manage it. We can't configure it. Can't manage. Can't log in. But it 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 doing the switching capability. They can just you know connect into the whatever the end device, and they can pass the data. That's it. But we can't configure it. We can't assign the IP address. We can't log in it. It's unmanaged. It's just a hub. Hub be kakwa geta man. Abey hub be ke switch ke atra vena sir two different. Hub is you know shared medium. Switch is not a shared medium. It's a separate collision domain we have. One particular port we have one collision domain. If you have twenty four ports, we have twenty four collision domains. But in a hub, we have a seven port, but we have only one collision domain. Right. So we will come to later in detail. What do you mean by the collision domain? What do you mean by the broadcast domain? Right. Don't worry about things. This is this is just a very first class. Right. This is we know oh, we have to run all the way. Right. We have to. This is just a start our journey. We just actually we just switch on the <laughs> switch on the vehicle. That's it. Even we still we still not you know running on it, right? Right? You think about you want to come to <laughs> from Jaffna to go to you know Pedru Junction, right? <laughs> Other way the or corner, right? So far away, right? We just start your vehicle, right? Yes. All right. So this is about the switches. So the switches we have a. Managed switch, unmanaged switch. Managed switches you can separately divide it into L2 and L3. L2 switches are only used for MAC addresses, and they only uh, do some. Uh, they understand the frames, but L3 switches they understand the IP addresses, right? So anyway, these uh, switches are intelligent switches, right? Intelligent switches. They are made. They they make decisions, right? They make decision by looking at the. Cam table contain addressable memory table. They have a cam table contain addressable memory table, right? So by looking at the cam table, right, or the VK them a MAC table, MAC table by looking at the MAC table, they can they can understand which port is connected to which device. By looking at that table, they are going to you know decide how we are going to transfer the data. Right from one switch to another, or from one device to another. That's how it works. Okay. All right, Kala. So, how is the session today? What kind of a feedback you can give? I learned a lot of uh, uh, things, sir. Uh, okay. I want to. I want to refer a lot of new uh, vocab vocabularies. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, you teach uh, how to learn uh, easily, and uh, what are the things uh, that we learn in future in GCNA? Uh, yeah, you learn, you teach step by step. That's the thing. Uh, I full and fully uh, confident uh, with GCNA <laughs> training with you. Okay, right. So don't worry about that. We just start our class. Normally, our classes will be on. Uh, sunday and uh, wednesday okay 
yes sunday and wednesday if if something happen i will inform you right uh, sometime you know we we got some power cut and all but uh, anyway that uh, we will uh, how about your area is it a power cut is there power cut uh, it's not the problem in our area sir because uh, we have a generator ah very good very good that's fine then then no worries so uh, anyway so it will not disturb to you then so anyway i in my laptop also sometime uh, normally i have three hours power in my laptops even i i got power cut uh, doesn't matter so only thing is i can't open the video but i can uh, do the class that's fine anyway so kalai so what i want to tell you is if you have uh, some other friends you can you know pass the message because we should if we have some few student that would be better right yes. even there in that group we have few student uh, but they didn't Uh, you know join in that doesn't matter anyway we will start the classes so i will uh, i will uh, conduct the classes uh, okay then we'll have another class okay yes, sir. okay sir okay bye take care okay sir bye sir thank you for every, every okay lesson. no worries okay bye thanks